So I want to make my 370Z a bit of a nicer car. I just finished up work. I've got a couple hours to kind of work on the car. It's a little bit of a work in progress at the moment. Let me show you what I mean. Yesterday I started working on a head unit. You can see right there, it's partially installed. I wanted to test it out, make sure that it actually works because this head unit was actually taken from my old Civic Si. It came with the car when I bought it and whoever did the wiring first did a really poor job because it had a lot of static and interference. Now I tested it, it sounds good. And yeah, maybe I should have filmed it for you guys, but honestly, head units are pretty easy to install. There's a lot of guides out there and really I just wanted to make sure that it worked first before I actually you know, broke out the camera and started filming. This head unit was not the easiest thing to install, uh, but it's not horrible. I do have a nice plate. I can link everything that I got down below in the description, but I have a nice plate so I can still obviously keep the air conditioning controls and all that stuff, so that's good. I still need to do a couple things. I need to finalize the wiring and I also need to install a microphone. I'm thinking the best location might just be in this corner right here. Let me show you what I'm thinking. So I got a microphone from Amazon. I think this was seven or eight dollars. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to route it down this trim and just kind of place it there. I honestly think it will not look that bad. It's not crazy in the way. I also bought a little Bluetooth connector. It is the classic case of while I'm in there, I might as well do this. <laughs> I ended up ordering some sound editing material. I'll throw this in Amazon as well. Uh, and I'm just going to try throwing this into the back of the trunk. I think it should make a decent difference considering there is no separation between the main cabin and the trunk. And the exhaust is all the way back here. First, I just wanna get that head unit finally installed. So let's just get at it. Okay, um, head unit out. Let's go ahead and clean up some of my temporary wiring. I just used wire ties and I wanna redo it, make it just that extra, extra amount of nice quality uh, install. But yeah, if you're wondering, what I'm dealing with. Basically, there's a couple different adapters that I'm using. I, I got all this stuff on Crutchfield. They're like one of the best websites for anything audio related. You basically just type in your car and what head unit you're using and it'll give you all the stuff that you need. So, um, antenna adapter here, just so you can get normal FM, AM radio. If anyone uses AM, don't know why. We also have the main harness right here this is where it supplies power as well as audio and it brings it into these channels for the front and the rear the left and right and this is what i want to clean up i just used wire ties to make sure that everything actually functions but now that i know it does we're just going to clean these up a little bit Okay, sick. Uh, well, I'm done. I thought I hit record to do a time lapse, but I apparently I did not. So I'm just going to wrap these up, make them look nice and nice and clean. These guys, honestly, I'm not 100% sure what to do with these. I don't think these will have power running through them. So it's probably okay just to leave as is, but I might just cover them up. Okay, I'm unsure if what I did was the correct way of doing it, but I basically just wrapped the ends in electrical tape and I'm just going to tie them together so it looks nice and clean. Uh, don't listen to me for electrical advice. I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing at any given time. See, come on, look at, look at this. It looks so good. You got this little nub. It's perfect. And we can even zip tie these together that would look actually really good. Uh, yeah. Look at that. 
Cool, there we go. That's all set. Now we just have one harness that we plug in, couple miscellaneous cables like the camera, or not the camera, the microphone, uh, as well as the uh, antenna. And then, yeah, we're good. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to mount the microphone right here in the corner of this little A pillar like this. So I'm going to just simply take this trim off and slide it in there. And then here's the best part. You cover it up with trim and act like it doesn't exist. Here's how it looks. Close the door and it's just tucked away in that corner. You really cannot see it that easily. It actually turned out like a really, really good spot. Here is the actual unit that controls the HVAC controls. I actually have the plate right here. This is already plugged in. I'm just going to leave this lying down like that. Try to kind of position everything where it needs to go. I have my USB cable as well for Android Auto. Let me plug that bad boy in. Now I will find my routed microphone cable, which is actually under virtually everything in the entire world. I don't know how that's possible, but it is. There it is. Okay, have about 70,000 feet of extra cable for that. No way. No way. It doesn't fit. I think if I ever meet the audio engineer that designed this head unit, I'm going to commit a crime. Uh, it doesn't use a 3.5 millimeter jack like this one that's currently routed all the way through the entire car. It uses a 2.5 millimeter, which uh, yeah, this is from the old head unit and does not exist anymore. So that's dope. I got the cord. Just God bless Jeff Bezos and his one day shipping. I was able to get a new microphone, 2.5 mil, that should work for the car. So I've got the head unit fully installed and it actually looks really, really good. Like I said, there's a small gap right there as opposed to this side, but honestly, not too bad. The microphone, you can barely see right back there. So I think that's a really good spot for it. We'll see how the audio quality is. I'm not 100% sure if it'll be good or not, but hey, at least it's hidden. So the head unit is in, it's installed. That went great. However, one product that I bought was basically a patch harness for Bluetooth connectors. So the steering wheel has Bluetooth buttons. You can press it and you do voice command. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's working. So I had to remove a lot of the trunk to access this, which is kind of a bummer that doesn't seem like it's working. Back here, you can see this is what I bought. And it essentially just, I think, loops a couple pins together um, to sort of fake out a connection, but it still doesn't really work. For whatever reason, the Bluetooth buttons on the steering wheel still do not work even with this installed. So. I'm going to remove this, just plug it back into the box. And well, I already did all of this work to remove a lot of the trunk. I ended up going on Amazon and just purchasing some sound editing. Now I've actually never used sound editing before. Uh, so I guess we'll, we'll see if it helps. I think honestly putting sound editing in the back of a Z makes a lot of sense because realistically, there is no separation between where you sit and the trunk. All right, never mind the beautiful sunset. I have completed the sound editing in the trunk. 
This stuff was very easy to put on. I actually really enjoyed the process. It was kind of uh, calming. I don't know. You just peel it off, you stick it on, you measure a little bit, or you don't measure and you just guess like me. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to tell much of a difference. I think when I tap it, I kind of can, but honestly, when, dr when you're driving, it's gonna be something entirely different. So there are spots that already have sound deadening applied, or there's spots where like, you know, you can touch it and it feels solid. So I didn't do all of the trunk per se, but I definitely did most of it. And hopefully this helps. So I've spent some time with the upgraded head unit as well as the improved insulation in the trunk. First, let's go inside and I'll show you around the head unit and how that worked out. In terms of how it came out, I actually think it looks very, very good. You can tell that it is an upgraded head unit, but the actual finish, the, fit, the fitment around the kind of uh, new piece for the trim, it actually fits pretty good. You do obviously keep all of the stock HVAC controls, so that's that's great. Those just kind of pop right in. Did this head unit improve the overall sound quality? Not really, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's about the same, but let me show you some of the capabilities of this head unit. Okay, so let's see how this head unit actually behaves and some of the capabilities of it. It does take like five to 10 seconds for it to finally kind of turn on. Has a bit of a warm up time, not a huge deal. You do get a warning message, this just kind of goes away. You don't really have to hit okay each time. And you know, honestly, you have Bluetooth. You can pop that on if you want. Let's not get copyright striked. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, you have a normal Android Auto head unit. So if I plug in my phone, it immediately just kind of jumps to the Android Auto space, which is really, really awesome. I've actually never had Android Auto and just being able to kind of hop on maps and, you know, go wherever you want and have it show up on a full screen that's not a phone is pretty awesome. As far as how does this head unit actually feel, there is some sort of lag between what you're doing, especially when you're using maps, because this is a little bit more heavy duty for um, head unit to handle, it takes a little bit more power. It's not bad, you can definitely tell that this is an older head unit, but I technically kind of got it for free with my Civic, not really because I paid for the Civic, but this does make a very big difference in sort of modernizing the 370Z. I ended up filming a driving portion of this video, but unfortunately I messed up my audio. So all I got was exhaust noise. Long story short, the sound deadening did work. It's very subtle, but I do notice a slight difference on the highway with the exhaust drone. It's a very slight difference. I'd say it's worth doing if you're in there. It's not worth taking apart the entire trunk to do it though. Also, I finally got my car tuned and I have no lift shift, which is glorious and makes all the fun noises. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know any questions. I'll put everything that I used in the description and have a good day.